Hello my friends and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood where we hope Gosetsu has had enough of a break to introduce us to our new friends. Hi. Oh, this place looks pretty sparse. And it seems the Aetherite is busted. Well, shucks. This is the House of the Fears. But there are so few of them. Many kindred spirits remain in hiding following the rebellion. Many others gave their lives for their nation. We are a stubborn remainder. Even accounting for our comrades in the field, we are at a fraction of our former strength, tis true. Yet we few are patriots. Brothers in arms, prepared to fight with every fiber of our being to set our people free. Hi. Ever are we hopeful that others will join our cause, but never did I dream that you would journey so far. Yukiri! Aww, so good to see you! Yukiri! God, it's good to see you. You look great, by the way. Have you been here long? I returned but recently, having concluded my mission. Oh, it is good to see you again, my friends. Your pug? Your pug. Did I hear aright? Your mission is concluded? Then you have found the young master. Ere we speak of that, I would know by what fortuitous circumstance our friends came to be here. Yeah, she's like, yeah, enough of that. Uh, I, how the hell did you all get here? <laughs> well, I got my butt kicked and we decided to come here to split up Xenos and stuff, so we could repay the favor. The Empire's crimes are all too familiar. Lise, my heart goes out to your people. We wanted to stay and fight, believe me, but we knew it wouldn't work. We needed more time to rebuild, and more allies to stand with us against the Empire. So we decided to come here and help you free Doma. To show you, to show everyone that you're not alone, and that the Garleans can be beaten if we work together. I'd like to think we proved that in the Ruby Sea. That you did, Lise, and far more besides. Needless to say, your assistance would be most welcome. Hear, hear! Now then, Yugiri, you must tell me of your search for our master. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, enough of that. Let's get back to actual business here. <laughs> Lest you wonder, he speaks of Lord Hien, son of Lord Kayen, who perished during the rebellion. When it became clear that all hope of victory had gone, Lord Hien bade us deliver as many of our people as we could to safety beyond our borders. But as his father's heir, he was determined to fight on, and so he did. Until he suffered a grievous wound in battle, and vanished without a trace. Until now. For I have found Lord Hien, seen and spoken with him, on the Azim Steppe. Okay, and where is that? Oh, boundless and merciful Kami, the young master lives. Tell me, was he well? Did his wound yet ail him? Where is he now? Have you brought him back to us? You may take comfort in the knowledge that he is hale and whole. However, when I invited him to return with me to Doma, he had this to say. If Doma yet thirsts for the blood of patriots and tyrants, I shall offer unto her my blade. But if she has had her fill of bitter draughts, I shall offer unto her conquerors my head. Thrice did I declare to him that no true son or daughter of Doma would ever accept such a sacrifice. 
but for all my passion, he would not be swayed. Well, no offense, you Gary, but you're not Dolman. Like maybe if coming from anybody else, maybe that would have held more weight. Um, that may have had nothing to do with it at all. But yeah, I think that's kind of an important distinction we should have to make here. Learn the truth of her heart and return to me, he said. And so I left him. The words of one made to wear the mantle of leadership too soon. Yet there is wisdom in them all the same. If the people no longer yearn to be free, it would be folly to rekindle the fires of war. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Like, you know, if, if, if we just let the Garleans, you know, win, you know, and if they've had their fellow war too, you know, can can we move on together? Well, we'll no longer be technically free, but if it's without torment and strife, well, it's better of the two terrible options, I guess. To suffer our master, to surrender his life and forsake all hope of freedom is by far the greater folly. I will not go to face my fallen comrades, having done naught to stop it. Nor I, Shadow Walker, nor I. But we need not rouse our comrades to battle this day. Let us instead welcome our honored guests and allow them a moment of respite. So yeah, she is not gonna let this go. And frankly, I'm more on Gosetsu's side here because, especially since, you know, he's the heir. Well, and technically now the person who, well, should be in charge because, you know, daddy is dead and all. It, it should be his choice what he decides to do. And basically, he's going to leave it up to his people to 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 make that choice for him, which I think a wise leader should. It's a very difficult decision to make, and there, there really is no easy answer to that question of how do we handle this and what do we do, but... Hmm, okay. So yeah, even though I think there's only a whole like one line in uh, the short time Moonbrita is with us, that yeah, the twins definitely know her. Like she was a member of the Circle of Knowing. Like they're they're very aware of who she is, and kind of sucks that that's not really brought up until now, but. Sorry, I misread that line there for a second, and I'm like, what? Oh, damn it, I didn't think there was a cutscene here. So well, this sound the story sounds suspiciously familiar. Well, at least you answered your own question. A monster. That's the only answer you need to that question. Alright. 
Well, this kind of explains why they just walked the hell out of Ryogrogger's Reach after they had their fill. They weren't trying to kill us all. How he phrases it, it's, it's kind of an interesting way of phrasing the old adage, you know, history is written by the victors and such. For good or for ill. But is it soundproof? My, 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 my uh, secondary home in Kugane is soundproof. And plus, you know, we thought Rogers was protected. And glamoured and stuff like that. That... Did not really avail us in the end, did it? Alright, so... Excuse me, dude, who just interrupted. In the middle of my trying to talk to her. <laughs> really sucks I can't attune to the Aether in here, but at least they give a re uh, very good reason why... It wasn't really busted by the Empire. They broke it themselves, it seems like. Yeah, but it also doesn't have a bar where people can get, you know, dr drunk on the off time and, you know, have chicks flail about them and, uh, you know, other people pining about threesomes and stuff like that. Are we sure it's undiscovered, or are they just leaving it? Did I ever talk to Elise again after this? Well, Gosetsu needs it more than I do. Yeah, I'm not going to be that much of a jerk. <laughs> I'm the warrior of light. I have a score to settle with Mr. Xenos. <sighs> Alright, so what now? What's our plan? Do we have a plan? Okay, so we do. Alright, cool. Good. Okay, all right. Suppose we can do that. Hopefully, the villagers didn't didn't see us and be equally freaked out by us. But then again, you know, I don't have a warrant on my head either. Well, at least I don't think so. At least not here, anyway. have to actually follow her or no oh, dang it I forgot this area is instanced <sighs>
Interesting. Yeah, I have to jump into a pool of water and stuff, and... I'm just really glad we don't have super dronic skills anymore. Like, think about the Imperials covered in metal armor and stuff, they'd probably sink like a rock. Alright, so we can indeed just teleport and we don't have to wait for our part way along the path. That's good. Getting back here won't be easy, but... That's just something we have to deal with for the time being. Oh, why I always do that. I am just so used to the old days where you couldn't teleport while mounted. And even after two years of this expansion, I still constantly get off my mount after I teleport. Oh, hey, Lace. Okay, but what did you do with your boots? Um, no, I didn't. I'm wearing carbuncle slippers. I, I don't think I'm really that conspicuous here. <laughs> but, okay. Maybe people will want to pet them and that will have a calming effect. Hello. No, I'm a totally different person. I just happened to stroll into town at the same time he did. You know, traveling, traveling in numbers to sell my wares and stuff like that. Oh hey, oh hey, random traveler on my journey. Are you are you bound for the same destination? Oh well, why don't we travel together? Because there's deadly tigers along this road. That's totally what happened. Hello. I'll just smile and wave. I'm not gonna impress, you know, impersonate that dude. I'm selling hope and passion and um Yeah, that's about it. Um hi. You're of a persuasion I have never seen before. So, yeah, um, you ever the quote-unquote beastmen we fought in Ralga's Reach? Yeah, apparently they aren't beastmen. Or at least, if they are, they're assimilated into culture here. Which is something I don't think we've seen before. 
mean, and probably the closest thing we have is the the sylphs who you know are rather friendly with the Gridanians and all that, but they're not really assimilated into their town culture. I mean, I suppose we have you know random one and two off merchants, beastmen merchants in Limsa, but that's about it. Okay, so life here sucks. And... You just put up with the Empire. Well, I suppose I can't blame you. They're gonna threaten and kill innocents if you don't give them what you want. Well... Yeah, I kinda can't blame you. Sometimes all you have to do is just endure and, and survive, and there's not much else you can do. It's kind of a sad fact. These, be 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 these people weren't jerks and be like, Hey, get the hell out of my village right away. Hope not, but I don't know. It seems like these people have been pretty broken for a while. Especially when your vice roy is not an imperial, but one of your own who betrayed you. Oh, dear lord, is that a child? Is that a child being attacked by killer bugs? You're no be mean to children, okay? Well, you're rather large for tiny caterpillars. Um, how big are you? Well, when you are grown. Unless that's just your species name and it's meant to be ironic or something. Maybe? I don't know. I just- I did high hopes so. though. I hope whatever scientist named you that, you know, had a sense of humor or something. Maybe. Hopefully. Probably not, because... Nature on Hydaelyn is always had to kill you. I mean, look at the size of these beetles over here. Although I suppose it makes more sense that, you know, rhino beetles that size are referred to as rhino beetles. You are welcome. Little miss. Aww. Okay, well, apparently I need yellow flowers. But thankfully I have in-game objective map to tell me exactly where I can find some. Hooray. Well, this golden carnation is surrounded by purplish blackish smoke. And okay, okay, apparently those were tiny caterpillars. These fake eye spots on this thing are terrifying. Ooh, 
Please, please don't come over here, Mr. Beetle. Please don't. Please don't. Now, question. Are their cousins responsible for the ones that will be eventually become the giant killer butterflies in the peaks? I had to guess? Probably. Oh, of course, that beetle comes after me and not the other one. Well, at least at first. <sighs> Sorry, little girl. I'll be back. I'm too busy invoking the ire of the local wildlife over here. You should be somewhere safe. I could have met you back in the village. You are welcome. What are you doing out here, by the way? Okay. What a sweet little child. Half a mile of backtracking later. Why did you not just make me meet my, you know, meet in town? Ugh. Okay. But I'm a merchant! Wink. Wow, Jerk, you just made your sister cry. Now, you asked the general to leave. Not me. You didn't say anything about me and my friends. Tell me about your mom and your dad. It's what I came up here for, okay? I got flowers for them. I have a right to know. Alright, you tell me the name of that guy, and I have a special place on the end of my sword for them. You hear me? Well, at least this time you're being a bit more specific than get the heck out of town. Hi guys! You know something happened alright. How did you not get recognized at least? Come on. Yeah, you, you and me both, girl, but we got bigger problems on our hand right now.
Yeah, there, there, there's been quite a bit of suffering going on. Uh oh. I don't know what you heard, but I'm just gonna take your word for it. Where are we hiding, though? Okay. Behind a building. Phew! No, no, no. I wanna talk to you first. Um, okay. Imperials. Ah, crap. Why are you milling about like a pack of slack-jawed mongrels? Form a line! Now! Oh, you're a jerk. Finally. I come before you today to deliver an announcement of the highest import. So listen well. While on a charitable mission to Isari village, the acting Viceroy and her personal guard came under attack from Confederate forces. This brazen, unconscionable act cannot and will not go unanswered. As loyal subjects of the Empire who enjoy her safety and prosperity, you have a duty to defend her as well. There is no cause for alarm. We have no intention of sending ill-trained fodder to the front line. What do you mean there's no cause for alarm? You just barked at them to get in a line. Like, shut your face, man. Those who are selected will be expected to perform rudimentary tasks. Cleaning and maintenance and so forth. You will serve only as long as you are needed. Afterwards, you'll be free to return to your homes. You, you first. The Empire has no pressing need of cleaners. This is but a thinly veiled attempt to intimidate those who supported the Confederacy's actions, and isolate any whose loyalty they already suspect. And lastly, you. That should suffice for now. Don't worry. I will be back before you know it. Listen to the Elders while I'm away, and do not play outside the village. Everything is going to be fine. I love you, all right? Remember that I love you. We thank you for your cooperation. Rest assured that this will all be over very soon, once the Confederacy has been made to pay our own ruby tithe.
Well, are you guys not the ones who pissed him off in the first place by, you know, condemning that they they continue charging it? There's no telling what might happen to those people. We have to help them. And we shall. But before all else, we must needs ascertain their destination. I doubt this is the first village the Garleans have visited. Nor is it like to be the last. I will track these men. Will you help me? Well, let's get going. Pray return to our headquarters and tell the others what you saw here. Should we have need of reinforcements, I would know that they are ready. But I should be going with you. I came here to fight. Please, please, calm down. Calm down. Soon enough, Lise. Soon enough. For now, we must proceed with caution. Yes. Now is not the time for is the time for sneakying, not fighting. I know that. I do. It's just when I saw them rounding those people up. Look, if anything happens, anything at all, you'd better call for us. I mean it, Yugiri. Anything at all. Alright, so unfortunately our quest to track down the Imperial scumbags is going to have to wait until next time because I have completely lost track of time today. So we're just going to cut things off here really quick and I'm going to thank everybody for watching and hope you join me next time.